The medical examiner estimates she died in 2012. But voting records suggest she cast ballots in 2018 and 2020. Where the strange story of a hoarder gets even stranger. We told you the story of Robert Elsey, a recluse who reportedly cashed in on his mother's retirement benefits for years, all while his mother's body was hidden away in a storage unit. And tonight, News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has uncovered new information on yet another bizarre turn. And part of this rouge also included uh, voting her by mail, it appears. Uh, so, yes. Uh, yes. To understand this truly uncommon conversation occurring at the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections meeting on Wednesday, first, you need the context. In early March, a welfare check led Parma Heights police to find the body of 70-year-old Robert Elsey, a prolific hoarder that was suffocated by his own belongings. More than two months later, the body of his mother, Lois, was discovered in a storage unit that he had been renting. Using both context and forensics, the medical examiner's office estimates that Lois had been dead for a decade. Looking at bodies uh, can give us some clues uh, when somebody passed away, you can get more specific if there's less of an interval between the time you're making your assessment and when that person died. Over those estimated 10 years, investigators say it appears that Robert Elsey may have been cashing in on his mother's Social Security and pension checks in the years following her death. But the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections has been probing whether he had also been voting under her name. He voted his as well as voted for her? And he voted in the same Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah, allegedly. There was a similar pattern, exact pattern as far as. According to records obtained by News 5, on paper, Lois Elsey applied to and later voted by mail in the 2018 primary and general elections. Records also show three absentee ballot applications signed by Lois Elsey in February, September, and October 2020. Keep in mind, she is estimated to have died in 2012. And she lived alone with her son, Robert. So he had access to information people normally wouldn't have. So her date of birth, ID all matched correctly. The signature was very close as well. Elections officials say their internal review did not raise any red flags because election staff verified that Lois's date of birth and other information matched. Officials say her supposed 2018 and 2020 signatures were also very similar to those they had on file and they were representative of a woman who would have been in her 90s. I mean, our tripwire functions still work up very well. I mean, we, we're confident that, you know, I mean, there's just really no way we would have discovered that. Correct. And he, and he very, the, the signatures were spot on. So what happens now? Well, election officials tell me that once they are notified that a death certificate has been filed for Lois Elsey, her name will be purged from the voter rolls. Robert Elsey's name was purged from those rolls last month. In the newsroom, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. What a story. Thanks so much for that, Jordan.